Hello and welcome to the video. This is the first of probably what will end up being lots of iNav 6.0 tips and tricks, specifically for this gentleman here, Tourist Leonardo, who is asking about how do you set it up for things like the Avatar system or the Walk Snail system. Now, a lot has changed in iNav 6.0 and it's kind of in the documentation. I'll put a link down below and talks about in the latest version, MSP DisplayPort fixes and updates and now there are specific things that you can set the MSP display port to be for auto pal NTSC which is kind of your three standard things for uh, analog FPV you can also then specifically set it for HD0 DGI WTFOS avatar or B F43 Compat or Betaflight 4.3 compatibility which is kind of what the old system looked like so if I just connect to this little flight controller, I've just flashed for this demo. Let's go into the ports tab. So what I've done is let's assume for the purposes of this video that I've plugged in my HD system into UART1 to control it. We need to set our peripherals to be MSP display port. You've got all these different options, but if we choose MSP display port, which is what it's talking about in the pieces then we'll get some stuff in the osd that we can change here in the osd tab when it's loaded we can see up here on the right hand side that we now get to choose the video format that we're interested in and we can choose between them also change the units and stuff so obviously we have uh, pal or you know analog system hd0 DJI WTF avatar or B43 compatibility mode. Obviously I'm using avatar. As you change these different things, you'll see the screen will actually change size. So when you have it set for what you want, then you can start moving your bits about as you would normally. Don't forget to save everything down. So that is the stuff. I imagine that over time this will get a little bit more obvious because uh, in here there's still a lot of stuff that potentially could be confusing. There's still the DJI FPV VTX that you think, well, hang on a minute, if that's there, why is the avatar not there? Simple way to do this is just pick MSP Display Port. That's going to tell it that it's connected to one of the HD systems. Then go into your OSD tab and choose the one that you want. Move everything around and you're good to go. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.